Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to MentFX and in this video, something I want to talk about is the two main levels or the two main things you can start to do to increase your probability of hitting very nice trades and keeping yourself emotionally stable in an industry that makes a lot of people go crazy ultimately. So the main thing that I found that actually helps a lot with this is understanding that when we're smart money traders, we know that structure can deliver in a variety of ways. There's the normal higher high, higher low set where you have protected lows being formed along the way. But at the same time, even though this is true, there's the inside structure of that, which is going to be seen by the higher highs, higher lows inside of that, the breaks of structure in that, the higher highs, higher lows, the breaks of structure inside that, right? The higher highs, the higher highs, the higher highs, the breaks that actually end up being part of the new higher highs. And you know, specific continuations that may look something like this. So this is kind of how structure ultimately becomes delivered to you on any market. And if we want to take a look at that, we are on a 15 second time frame here. I've just been trading a lot of the, the second time frame charts. So I can actually show you a little something here. This was this was all yesterday, um, all the 26th. You can see just a lot of a lot of trades all managed properly. Um, very low time frame scalps. These are 15, five to 15 second scalps. So that's why you'll see um, Mo like the highest pip profit was about like five or six so um you know it all it's all about the way your personality works and the way you want to manage your trades and the type of trader you want to be um this is the exact same as somebody trading a daily chart and instead of having one pip or two pip take profits they have about 100 pip or 200 pip take profits because the the scenario of the way you get involved is very similar and what i mean by that is if we even take a look at this market right here and um attempt to draw out what we have right here you'll already see so let's let's put on the blue um the blue marker again really quick there we go so there's the blue matching the blue and we can look at that higher time from trend which we can clearly see is bullish right we have the higher high the higher low the higher high the higher low the higher high the higher low the higher high and we're in the midst of making some kind of higher low to then potentially continue making new higher highs now at the same time that that's true what we also have is the green and the green becomes the inside structure of that blue and that's where confusion for a lot of smart money begins to come in hand and this is kind of what this video is about it's about how to clear that confusion for yourself and how to actually set up a scenario for yourself where you are really just kind of looking to win and you are looking to take what you need out of the market for the day or for the week or for the month, whatever it is that you're whatever, whatever type of trader you are. So for me, it's usually for the day because I'm very, very aggressive and low time frame based. However, based on the time frame you're on, as you know, even in the mentorship, as you may know, even from the YouTube, it doesn't matter what time frame you operate on, just that you are following the fundamentals um, to how price is delivered how you're looking at highs, how you're looking at lows, what structure you're staring at, what supply and demand zones you're using, and how you're getting involved as price delivers. So if we take a look at the inside structure, we can already instantly see, so let's zoom in here for you very quickly, you can see the higher high, the higher low, the higher high, the higher low, the higher high, the higher low, and then this kind of shift in structure that may, you know, stop a lot of smart money, dumb smart money out because they're looking at specific structure without recognizing that we're still in larger um, bullish structure. And all we're doing is we're testing the the bottom side of the demand zones here created by the break of structure here on a on the blue time frames higher time frame structure and then we continue and we have the higher high the higher low the higher high the higher low the higher high higher low 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 and these are all by the way as you can see these as i'm drawing them in these are all opportunities for you to enter on the green trend understanding that you're part of some kind of blue leg and if you know you're part of a blue bullish leg you can already begin to enter on this the changes in structure of the green legs right so this is this is one way to already start considering something right higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high and then we break down and as we break down here we don't instantly start looking for cells because we understand this may be nothing more than a pullback on the larger blue structure because we understand that price does not move through time frames price moves through price and price all you need is to be able to zoom out and be able to take a look at where it is you are in a market. So when you see this break right here, which is what why I was looking at this demand zone right here on a 15 minute. So if we go over to the 15 minute. So again, notice how we saw that break of structure on a lower time frame. But if we zoom in now, actually, it might have been a five minute. If we go and look at a five minute, there it is, right? You have this last down move before this up move that's shifted that very, very lower time frame structure, which means we have an area that we can now potentially look to be uh, potentially long on. So if we go back to the 15 second time frame right here and we just take a look at this, you can see there is a shift of structure and we have an overall POI based on the format of the five minute chart. 
at which we can now look for confirmations to go long and if any of you have studied any of my content and understand any bit of Wyckoff or any bit of fractal structure, you understand that as we begin to clear out lows and then begin to shift structure, the last bits of demand and the demand zones formed by those moves are where you look to get involved and then you have the opportunity to take buys off of there or as price begins to create new institutional price legs into the market, which um, if you don't know what that is, it's just higher time frame structure without just studying candlestick structure. And if you're if you want to know more about that, feel free to join the mentorship right down here. So then we unfold to the top side and create this overall continuation structure to the top side off of that fractal movement here, which is all part again of that larger blue time frame, right? So the same thing we drew here, there's a blue time frame that has the higher structure being put into place thereby putting in protected lows. And inside of that, we have that green structure, which we were using to get involved in using the points of interest of that blue structure, right? So those would be actually the blue. There we go. So there's that blue structure SND zone. And that SND zone is being tapped by the green and the fractal green structure is ultimately Wyckoff. So stay tuned because I will be having a video coming out soon on Wyckoff and very end of Wyckoff. So it's going to help a lot of you. At the same time, we're going to be unleashing the Ment funding website soon and soon the ment prop firm the ment fx prop firm will be available for all of you to potentially get involved in because i'm sick of other prop firms stealing my clientele that are learning how to trade very well because we've had some immense success from a lot of you so the main point of what i want to talk about in this video is recognizing how to draw in two potential biases so what you'll see is i actually had um a area that i wanted to sell from here and an area i wanted to buy from here now the reason for that if we take a look a little bit further out onto a higher time frame if we do just follow this blue structure what you'll notice is as i saw this leg being created right so this blue leg was being created that's the pullback of a blue leg like this it's just blue structure right so we'll call it blue structure because it, or we can call it higher time frame structure it really doesn't matter but the idea of it is I was looking for this pullback, this potential higher low, this potential higher low to actually be put in place a little bit deeper. I was looking for it to come into potentially these imbalances here or these demand zones here, which means I wanted this leg right here to actually end up here. Now, that wasn't the case, but my anticipation, as you may see right here, is that this break of structure uh, shown by this move right here was going to put in place a mitigation here that would then continue to drop prices lower and come into these deeper areas to create that next bullish leg of the market. Now, what's interesting about institutional structure is that there is no guarantee about where that institutional leg will be created, which is why we understand to read price from a standpoint of multi-structure analysis. And if you haven't seen some of my other structure videos on this channel, make sure you check those out because those will immensely help you with understanding this. So what I did ultimately is I drew in this zone and said, okay, this is a supply zone I wanna be going short at if I see the confirmation permitted to go short, because as a lot of you understand, and I've been teaching this forever on this channel, there is a three-step process for getting involved on any trade. And this will work for retail or for smart money, but this is ultimately the, the process. It's a structure or it's understanding your um, overall bias. What's the story, right? Where's the structure heading? Number two is choosing your supply and demand zone or known as a point of interest. So what's interesting is you can already do this with a retail route. You can go structure it into support resistance into a confirmation. Now it's going to provide to you less likely setups and it's going to make you learn how to manage on a much higher level. But ultimately, it's a very, very similar approach. So and three is always going to be the Wyckoff or as we know, fractal structure, or as we can call it, confirmation. So this is going to be true across almost any discipline. And whether you are retail, you're a retail trader or a smart money trader, this is going to ring true for you because ultimately what you're doing is you're trying to find areas you want to be involved in the market and then confirming those entries. So whether your wicks don't lie and you're looking for the confirmation of some kind of candle to trade above a zone or for a wick to be created, whether you're Daniel Savage or whatever, and you're looking for like some fib stuff, um, whether you're Pips of Persia and you're looking for Wyckoff and structure shifts, it doesn't really matter because what you have is this three-step process. And the most profitable traders are the ones that enact this three-step process in their trading now the type of trades they get the type of rr they're able to find and the way they get to trade is going to largely depend on the type of understanding they form about the market which is why i believe that the smart money route has always created the best formation of knowledge for a lot of people and i have proof of that in 
the sense that a lot of the people in my mentorship have become fully profitable and consistent traders. Now, that's not to say that it's only for people in the mentorship. There's also people that have been using the free YouTube to do the same thing. So it's possible either way. You just need to dedicate yourself to understanding this right here and refining yourself to it. So as we take a look at this, you'll notice that I had this supply zone right here, which is actually a 15 minute supply zone. If I go ahead, there it is the last up move before the down move. And that's where I was looking for price to come into before going short. Now, what's interesting about that is because I wanted to go short from there, I was also following the intermediary structure on this lower time frame and when i saw this price shift i was already interested as you remember to go long at the new demand zones formed so my idea now basically created an arbitrage situation for myself so it's not necessarily arbitrage actually but what it's done is it's created a situation for myself where either price gets here and i look for a sell or price gets here and i look for a buy so either way there is no reason for me to FOMO into any trade or to aggressively try to get involved or to get afraid or to revenge trade or to try to get in as fast as I can because I understand that I either want to go short from here or I want to go long from here. In the case that this is a structural leg that's being put in and there is a indeed higher low here, I'll be able to get involved on, as you understand, if we take a look at this right here, I'll be able to get involved on the green structure point shown by these breaks and look to take that higher as the new leg forms of the next structure point, creating a new protected low for smart money, ultimately. So, or on the other hand, if this blue leg has not formed yet and this bottom part of the blue leg actually wants to come deeper, uh, so let's make that blue again. If that bottom leg wants to come deeper, such as into here, well then what that's gonna mean is that that point above and inside of here, which was responsible for the first breaks of structure on that green structure right so if you're following this if you're not make sure you go back and follow this a little bit better um but ultimately this green structure break can either sell off from the supply zone or has put in the blue higher low in which case it's ready to buy up from the new demand zones so that's exactly what's happening here you have two zones you have two key levels and those two key levels will basically keep you out of the market in the worst scenarios so you don't have to foam yourself in and we'll get you in at the best possible area of interest because what you have is you have a point to go short from you have a point to go long from and price at the point of dis deciding was right here so at this specific point i actually had no idea whether price wanted to go short from here and come to target all this or go long from here and keep targeting new highs because of the way that price has delivered now i was actually more so looking for the price to come into here and then keep going short into these zones. However, I was fully open to this last down move before the up move with the new imbalances being formed. And if anybody does not know what imbalance is, it's basically the empty space between a wick and the next wick. A lot of people refer to them as different things. Um, I know uh, wicks don't lie refers to it as clean candles. I know other people refer to it as FVGs. I know other people refer to it as um, just the basic imbalance or inefficient price action. It doesn't really matter what you want to call it, but ultimately what you have here is an area that might need to be filled. It's left behind an unmitigated last down move before an up move, a demand zone. And now we can be long from here or short from here, right? So either price on this lower time frame green structure. So again, remember this right here. There's always a present. Um, there's always multiple structures present on any time frame. So we either want to be looking to go short off of this green structure break um, to continue making these higher time frame, higher lows in a lower area, or that has been put in place, which is what this idea was. And now we're ready to go long from these areas here. But what's interesting is it's created an area to go long and short from. So as long as price is inside here and hasn't tapped this area or this area, there is no reason for me to want to you know, get a trade. So if price was on a higher time frame, for instance, if you were on a four hour or something of that nature, right? And you were looking to be a uh, potential seller from up and inside of the points right here, right? So you might have been watching, uh, so we'll go like this. So you might have been watching this as your supply zone with the imbalance present right below it, just like that. Right. And at the same time, as price began to break higher, you began to look at this demand zone right here. Right. So now what, what's interesting about this price, and this is again now on a four hour time frame, it doesn't really matter what time frame you're on. It's going to be the same across the, the board. There is a higher time frame prerogative and a higher time frame break of structure that exists right here. And the most likelihood of this move now is going to be continuing to the downside and creating new lower lows 
in the form of new liquidity runs on the final target at the very low because people are constantly trying to find those final points now if you're trading a four hour chart and you're a much longer term trader and you're a positional or a swing trader what you're doing is you're either you're, you're considering two facts you're saying either i want to go short from here or i want to go long from here to get into the short right or to even continue to new highs this is where management comes in so if you if price came here first you'd be looking to buy to manage it into these zones and then to potentially hold in case price wants to finally shift structure on the other hand if price gets here you're going to want to look to short it potentially manage just a little bit here but ultimately look to hold it to new lows because the structure overall is still holding bearish with the break of structure with the new break of structure and now with the new structural break that you're looking to continue lower because you understand liquidity is still being ran on the downside and the previous protected highs right this would be a protected high and invalidation point is now still being protected now at these points here and unless we shift above these points there is no reason to assume that we are um, on this specific time frame bullish on this market so again you've created a win-win situation for yourself or what you could call an arbitrage situation for yourself where either you can go short from here or long from here and what happens is you you basically destroy the idea of having to get in or missing a trade because you have two areas or two alerts where you can get involved in so all you have to do is put a line here and a line here and you can set an alert right here so you add an alert to it and you add an alert here and at that point you can close your trading view fully right go and read a book you can go and hang out with the family until an alert goes off and then you know that you have an opportunity to either go long or short based on the way price has delivered to those areas so as price gets into there and you look for the the confirmations on a lower time frame there are beautiful cells that you can take down and as price delivers lower you can look to take profit off here but overall looking for it to get to the final targets because you understand that price delivery is still bearish so even if you were a buyer at this zone you can see there were still buys inside of there on a no, and on a lower time frame there's more definitely than not right some kind of green structure inside of right here so if we take a look at that inside of there there's probably some kind of guaranteed green structure that has given to you buys that are then going to be cleared because you understand that the overall target is still existing at the very low and lo and behold you are delivered to those lows and that target becomes ran and a new bias gets put into place now this will occur on all time frames i just did that for you guys on the four hour to show you that you know it doesn't matter whether you want to be a longer term trader or a shorter term trader either way you're going to get the similar movement across time frames so as you can see we have the same thing going on here we have a very very much bullish leg that we're looking to potentially come into a deeper area which is why I was looking to sell here however at the same time because remember we are watching structure on all time frames if you don't have the 15 seconds go to the one minute and just zoom out right now if you go to the one minute you can see that yes this was a break of structure and that could be part of delivering price to a much lower blue structured higher low so it could have came instead of coming so for, for you for you guys to understand instead of coming here it could have easily came here this blue structure right now when price failed to keep pushing lower and instead decided to shift structure again to the top side and put in a, if you follow structure, a new higher high instead of putting in a new lower high. Well, at this point, we have to start considering that we might have put in the blue structural protected low and maybe on our way to start clearing highs. So our zone, our supply zone here was not hit. However, our demand zone, which is still shown by that five minute demand zone, again, present with a little imbalance inside of there. For those of you that are following, if you skip this video at all, this might be really confusing. So make sure you watch through the whole thing. Well, now you're looking for the buys inside of that area. And if you follow along with what price does in this area, which I was on a much lower time frame to watch this, you will see again. So now let's use a new structure. So imagine very quickly that we have this blue structure, right? Here's the blue structure that we're looking to trade at the same time you have the delivery of the green structure. And the green structure is shown as this right here, this right here, this right here, right? And currently what price has done is this. So it's made this low and it's broken this structure here, okay? And now we're looking for it to continue to the top side. But at the same time, what's interesting is you also have, let's assume this red structure. And inside of this green, you have this red structure that shifts comes to test itself. And this is the idea of Wyckoff and fractalized Wyckoff. What's actually happening there is you're getting um, the transfer of weak to strong hands. And if you haven't seen that video, make sure you watch it. You have the delivery of price again to the top side. And now that red, the green and the blue begin to agree. And we begin to run new liquidity highs and put in new protected lows. Now, if you want to get deeper on this and have a structured step-by-step -step course and process, 
feel free to check out the mentorship below. Otherwise, let's talk about what actually occurred here. So price comes into our five minute demand zone, right? So again, remember, we are staying out of trades because we realize that we can either go long here or short here when price is here. And all we're waiting for is either price taps into here and gives us that switch, in which case we can go short, or taps into here and gives us that switch long to go long. So if we follow the green structure, right, we understand that green structure is still present inside of that blue, right? So the blue is this large impulse, the green is this new break, and now we're creating this green higher um, low, okay? Now, where's that higher low gonna be created? How do we know where it's gonna happen? Well, this is where it comes in handy to begin to follow the red and lower structure as we did right here, right? So follow it. We have the lower lows, lower highs, the lower lows, lower highs, the lower lows, lower highs, the lower lows. And we have this shift in structure, which is again showing us that there wants to be some kind of fractal distribution from, I mean, fractal accumulation from the transfer of weak to strong hands. And if we again partner that with the idea that we are moving on a structural basis and we're moving from supply and demand zones, well, that's where we can look to go long at certain demand zones. And if you miss those or want to wait, you have the S&D zone 2.0s to go long at, new zones to go long at, new zones to go long at, all the way up until new highs are cleared. And again, even if you were looking to short this area, notice the lack of a fractal shift and notice a delivery of price which came right through it. And this is how you know whether a zone wants to or doesn't want to hold. It's based in the idea that every profitable retail trader uses, every profitable smart money trader uses, every profitable bank and institutional trader uses. If you think about an actual bank or an institution or a hedge fund, in Consider these three points, structure, bias, and story. What's their story? Their story may be employment numbers. Their story may be fundamental. Okay, great. So they have a fundamental basis, which tells them, okay, we want to go long or short. Then they have a POI, a place of interest. How do they decide that? Well, they probably have order books in front of them where they decide where the most orders can be taken before going short or long, or they have targets that they set like Goldman or something or JP when they go and analyze Starbucks and create a target. That's their target. So they know a target and they know their POI, which means now all they need is the confirmation. And in some cases, the confirmation for banks and stuff is seeing a large order book value of numbers or people getting involved or seeing the liquidation of a lot of people and getting involved on that or having another news article published for themselves because what a lot of top end institutions do is they get involved and then or wait for published news articles or wait to publish news articles before getting involved to get involved. My point being is you can explain away almost any strategy in the world whether you're smart money, dumb money, retail money, institutional money, hedge fund money, country money, government money, uh, company money, it doesn't matter. It's all based in this same idea. So if you have the confirmation of structure, which in this case would be this blue structure putting in some lows, which would be your POI based on that structure, which in this case would be our demand zones or supply zones. And now we have two of them, one on the top end, one on the bottom end, thereby allowing us to literally wait and not be emotional about getting long or short because we know one will present itself. And then having the third point, which is confirmation inside that zone, that is where you get the best time type of trades. And that's where profitable traders are bred and made. And that is why I've been able to create real profitable traders in my mentorship. And again, very quickly, none of this is financial advice. This is a perspective based approach as to how I look at the markets and how I have seen other people look at them and how I've taught other people to basically kill it. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully this made some sense. Um, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you don't, then it's all good. Tell me what I did wrong. I have no problem with that. Um, stay tuned for the future with the Ment funding prop firm coming out very soon. Feel free to join the mentorship below if you are interested in taking your um, understanding to a new level or want some structure or want some one-on-ones with me or want to be part of a community. Otherwise, I appreciate all the support and let's continue growing. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good one.